Good evening. Today I'd like to show how to determine who has the comparative advantage. Suppose that there's only two countries in the world, country A and country B, and there's only two goods that can be produced, rice and beans. When A specializes in the production of rice, it can make 20 bushels, and when it specializes in the production of beans, it can make 10. And country B can make five of rice when it specializes and 15 of beans. A really handy trick is to make a table where you put the countries on top of each other and uh, the two goods that they make side by side. So country A can either make 20 bushels of rice and 10 of beans. And as you saw from the PPF, country B can make five or 15. Then the trick is to take the output and you put it over uh, the other uh, item that the country makes. So this would be 20 over 10. And then I would take 10 over 20 and then 5 over 15 and 15 over 5. If you reduce this fraction, this is 1 half. If you reduce this fraction, this is 3. Since 1 half is less than 3, A should make rice. And then the same thing goes over here. 20 over 10 is 2, and 3 over 15 is 1 third. Country B then should make the beans. And this makes intuitive sense as far as I'm concerned, because just look at when country A makes beans, it can make 10 beans, but it gives up 20 rice. That comes at a huge opportunity cost. So it makes sense then that it's cheaper for them to make rice since they only give up 10 units of beans instead of 20, like for example if they would make beans. And this is what I call the uh-oh method. It's the output over and it works every time to determine which country should produce which items for your specialization point. Tomorrow we can talk about how to determine terms of trade and uh, we can talk about David Ricardo and Adam Smith's theory of absolute versus comparative advantage.